New year means new fashion trends. And in this video, we are going to be going over some of the very best for spring and summer time. So you can use the chapters to follow along to the clothing item that you want to hear about most. And I want to give a quick shout out to all the amazing creators featured in this video. Definitely go follow them on Instagram. So let's jump into the first clothing item, which are the best summer shorts. Now, some of the best shorts to wear this year are from Nike ACG. And the reason for that is because they have a ton of utility pockets that come in a number of fabrics, materials, and lifestyle colors, which means that they're super wearable. And I think this has really grown in trend with that Gorp Core style that we've seen in the fall and the winter time with those Arteric jackets. Nike ACG is of course all conditions gear, which it makes a lot of hiking and sort of that rugged clothing. And I think that some of these cargo shorts are the best that you can wear. Now, Minimal LA also has some great tactical and cargo shorts as well. If you want more of that streetwear and lifestyle type of look, um, they also come in some great colors. But the co point here also is that you want them to be around that six to seven inseam uh, length that sits just above the knee. Um, that's still sort of the trend for shorts this summer. So Nike also makes some great trail running shorts as well. These ones are the Nike Stride Trail Shorts. And the cool thing here is that they come in a number of different cool styles and colors that have a ton of detail on them. The only caveat here is that they do have a five inch inseam, um, which is pretty short. But the good thing is also that, you know, they are functional from an athleisure and athletic standpoint. You can actually run and train in them, um, but they also can make for some great um, lifestyle shorts as well because of the fact that they also come in black. I think pattern shorts are also going to be a big trend this year as well. Um, and these can be as simple as, you know, a pair of, you know, $15 uh, Amazon shorts that you guys are seeing here that I picked up. Um, but also you can get some ones from Eric Emanuel. I think Eric Emanuel shorts are still going to be popular this year. I think a lot of basketball players and athletes are going to be wearing them. And, you know, a lot of them are the trendsetters these days. So uh, Eric Emanuel shorts are also pretty great as well. So now let's move on to the best tops to wear. Now uh, we're going to start off with vests. Now there's two types of vests that you can get. You can get sort of that gilet and that sort of tactical look, or you can get uh, the knit vest. So let's talk about sort of that tactical look first. Now these ones are great because um, they are sort of lend itself to more of that hiking culture that is that is very popular these days. Now the thing here is that because there's a lot of detail on this vest, you're going to want to wear them with more of a simple and a plain outfit. Now I actually got this one from here from Carhartt Work in Progress. It's in the mail. I would have featured in this video, but I don't have it yet. Either way, I plan on wearing it the same thing. You know, that sort of olive colored vest underneath a white or over top, sorry, a white t-shirt and some black, you know, six inch uh, uh, shorts. That's kind of like the vibe that I'm looking for there. However, there are a ton of great brands to choose from when it comes to vest. You know, you can, Nike also has some great ones um, uh, that, that are sort of more in that performance type of look as well, um, similar to those trail shorts that I featured. Um, but also, you know, you can get some on ASOS, you can get some on from H&M. So there's a ton of different options and I'll be sure to link some in the description box below. Now, the other type of vest is more of that sort of menswear look. And I'm a huge fan of these um, because I think that in 2022, they're going to see a lot of more like menswear type of looks, a lot of elevated uh, looks that are combined with streetwear elements like sneakers, for example. But these ones are great. They're knit. They come in a number of neutral and earth tone colors. And, you know, there's a number of ways to wear them. You know, you could style them under a T-shirt and keep it plain and simple, or you can wear it underneath a button shirt um, and you're good to go there. Cardigans are also going to be really big. They sort of fall into that knitwear category. And I would featured these in one of my previous videos, but I think that they're even more popular now. And there's more styles to choose from. I think that pattern cardigans are a really big trend because they are like a good statement piece. And with the way that you can style these is you can actually use the accent colors of that cardigan to sort of accessorize and match with the rest of your outfit. So whether it be your sneakers to match your, the accent colors of the cardigan, there's a number of different ways of doing it. But I think that sort of statement cardigan is also uh, a good look there however if you're more like me and you're more prefer more of like those understated type of neutral colors there's some great options for you as well i feature the h&m one um, that is surprisingly great quality um, and i'll link that in the description box below but i'll link some other great options um, there's olive there's browns there's beiges tons of great looks when it comes to wearing cardigans this year so another great look this year are button up polo shirts. Now these are quite simple. They have a collar, they're either short sleeve or long sleeve, and they have a button down uh, enclosure uh, on the torso. And these come in a number of different options as well. You can sort of go that bold look, or you can go um, something with a little bit more earth tone colors. Now I found this one from Abercrombie. It's got a subtle floral print to it. Um, but the way that I'm wearing these is either opened up with a tank top underneath or buttoned with the tank top underneath. Um, I think that it's uh, it lends itself 
perfectly to sort of those warmer weather. And it also sort of falls under that category of that elevated and that business casual look that I think is going to be really popular this year as well. I also think that crop hoodies are going to be a big trend this year. Um, you know, when we think of Yeezy and the Gap hoodies, there if you didn't know, they fit, you know, like a traditional boxy fit hoodie, except they fit quite cropped, like the, you know, along the waistband. And I think that we're going to see a lot of different options um, for you guys to choose from when it comes to crop hoodies this year. However, those Yeezy Gap ones seem to be leading the charge there. We all know how influential Kanye is when it comes to fashion. Now, in terms of jackets, there are a number of spring summer jackets that you can wear whereas the weather transitions or if it's summertime and at nighttime and you want to dress up a little bit better. Now, the ones that I are my favorite are those Harrington style jackets. Now, I love these because they're very simple and plain. They can be worn in a ton of different ways. You can wear it underneath a hoodie and you can even incorporate it with the vest in some of those layered looks um, that we talked about earlier. Now, one of my favorite ones is from a Canadian brand called Libero. They're a, a, an independent brand, so I highly recommend you guys check them out. But you can also go the more affordable route, which would be the Dickies Eisenhower jacket. These ones are super simple. They come in olive, they come in, um, you know, uh, gray, black, etc. You can get them on Amazon. They're, they're pretty affordable as well. And the good thing is, is that they also have a graphic version of it that I really love. So that could be a good affordable alternative for that liberal one that I featured um, at the top. Um, so either way, these are one of my favorite jackets to wear. Now in terms of pants, flare pants are going to be big again this year. And there's two ways to go about it. You can go menswear or you can go streetwear. Now for the menswear look, uh, my friend Parker York Smith, he, uh, he wear these, he styled these really great. Um, it's sort of that 1970s inspired look. And the, and the key here is that you want to sort of complete the look with it, right? You know, you want to wear it with uh, the, some of those tighter fitting shirts and give it that real 70s style with the boots and the, and the vintage clothing as well. So there's one way to go about it. Uh, the other way is sort of that streetwear look with the flare denim and the camel flare pants. Um, and I think that Mint Crew and Minimal LA have some great options. I bought some. They're kind of hit and miss on Minimal, if I'm being totally honest. The ones that I got are great. I love them and I wear them all the time. And the good thing with flare pants is that if you're the type of person that likes to tuck your pants over your sneakers, these are the best pants to do that because whether you're wearing Air Jordan 5s, whether you're wearing Air Jordan 6s, you're, those big Yeezy boots, you can tuck them over those sneakers to get that kind of look and feel. So I think that flare pants are going to be big this year. Once again, you can go menswear, you can go streetwear. Okay, so let's talk about accessories. Now, I think that chains and, and rings are gonna be a big style trend this year. And you can either go a few ways about it. You can either get like a nice, you know, a pretty decent solid chain, um, something that has more of like Cuban link, something, you know, pretty rugged. Uh, Majuri has a bunch of great ones um, there, um, but you can also check out, you know, H&M if you just wanna dip your toe into it. So you can go buy from them and buy from fast fashion places. You know, you can also return them if you don't like them. So that's why I like to start at those places before investing some money. Um, there's also pearls. I think pearls necklaces for men is, is becoming more common. And I think that you should definitely check it out. And also there's something about pearls that sort of lend themselves to uh, spring and summertime. And, but if you don't like that type of look, um, you can always go for a sort of, that has sort of metal beads on it, which will sort of give that type of look there. And watches, I'm a big watch guy. Uh, and I think G-Shock, is an incredible watch brand that's affordable, that is very common and is, is cemented in streetwear culture. When you think of guys like Pharrell, you think of Lil Wayne wearing those iced out uh, G-Shocks throughout the years. However, Kid Cudi recently collaborated. He's got this very vibrant one. It's on the resale markets. So that's the only place to get it. Um, but G-Shox has been, been collaborating with a lot of great people like Kid Cudi, for example, but also John Mayer and Houdinki, which is a watch publication. They collaborated on some G-Shocks that are some of the best. And I truly have FOMO and regret for not getting this white pair because it's not a solid white. It's like an off white. You know what I mean? And there's also a gray one as well. So those are two great options in terms of watches. Now, in terms of sneakers, I made an entire video dedicated to the best spring summer sneakers to wear this year. You can check that out by clicking that video right there, or I'll leave it in the description as well. I'll give you guys the abbreviated version of it though. So I think the best overall sneaker to wear this year is the New Balance 550. 
last year ald collaborated with them those ones are selling for six to seven hundred dollars depending on the size this year they're going to be uh, a ton more general release colorways that are be a little bit more available to purchase you're still going to have to be quick on them and um overall i think that uh last year and the year before that it was the dunks the dunks the dunks this year i think that people are wanting something a little bit different the 550s have a similar style new balance is on a wave right now so new balance 550 is always a great look there i also think that that sort of soft casual slip-on uh shoe is going to be very popular as well we saw that last year with the foam runners as well as the salehi Bembury crocs so i think that those types of soft footwear are going to be very popular as well some great affordable alternatives are also the Merrill Croc as well. Um, the Hydro Mock, sorry, the Merrill Hydro Mock, as well as the Stussy Birkenstocks. Asics, I think, is emerging once again uh, for some of their sort of uh, uh, athletic footwear as well. We're talking about the ones that sort of look like that marathon type of shoe. Now, Balenciaga kind of copied that look and put them in their campaign with Justin Bieber. So a lot more people are starting to uh, wear that type of sneaker. The only thing is that Asics is now sort of making them uh, in more sort of wearable colors that look less more like it's a marathon shoe and a long distance running shoe and something that you could probably wear more casually. Also the non-sneaker related loafers. Loafers, I, I really am into this right now in this type of look. Uh, Blackstock and Weber, they are a great, um, uh, loafer brand and I just love how that it sort of has that a Mei Leon door type of look where you're still combining it with streetwear elements maybe it's a, a, a Yankees fitted cap and a hoodie but you're wearing some of them with some crop jeans and you got the white uh, socks poking out with those brown or black loafers I love the ones with the thick outsole as well I think that's a great look there however if you are wanting to dip your toe into it you can always try Zara I bought a pair of loafers and I don't know if I'm a loafer guy yet. However, I recommend, as I've said previously in this video, buy from some of those fast fashion brands first, see if you like the trend, then invest. If you want to invest, Blackstock and Weber, Amy Leandor loafers, um, uh, uh, Bass loafers is, is a great option for you guys as well. So there's a number of different um, things you can do. For more fashion trends videos, click right here to see more summer styles. I featured a lot, a lot of the stuff that was in this video is also featured um, but in, a, in a new way. Uh, so you can click that video to check it out. I also made a part two of that one. You can check that one out right there. So why don't we click on one of those videos and I'll meet you guys there.